first of all, I want to thank all the people that work at the post office. So I know it's not all of you, and um, I want to give a special shout out to Richie. You're the best postman that I've ever had. My story today is about horror stories at the post office. And it's not just the postal workers, it's also the customers as well. And I'm pretty sure some people have been through some horror stories themselves. So I'm at the post office delivering the package, a normal day, I'm standing online, and all of a sudden, this old man just like steps to me like right here. It's like, so uh, me being a native New Yorker that I am, I just... And then he all of a sudden goes, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm behind you, I'm behind you. Oh, okay. Now, I'm a little pussycat, so, you know, I'm not a mean person, but it's just like, people like to skip, and that gets annoying, and I'm like, you know, dude, please don't try to skip me, we're all here. So, as time goes by, we're waiting online, there's this lady who's talking to the postal worker after she gives the package and all that, and, you know, she's asking stuff. The same old man behind me starts going, hey, hurry up, move, loudmouth, you need to move. So she goes, um, oh no, I'm sorry people, you know, um, I'm just talking every day, I'm sorry, I know I'm just talking too much, um, you all have a good day. So she leaves, nice lady. Then the old man, under his voice, right behind me says, oh, she's lucky I didn't use my cane. So I'm thinking to myself, is he joking or does he really mean it? Does he want to really beat this lady with his cane? I don't know, but I'm not going to question it. At the same time, you know, he might be joking, who knows, cranky old man, we'll chalk that up. So, I'm waiting in line, um, there's this lady ahead of me, and then the supervisor's there, and then she goes next. She's talking to her workers. So the old man, as I look over my shoulder, see the cane coming this way, starts poking the lady in front of me, goes, Miss, move, next, 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 right over my shoulder. So I'm like, dude, calm down. The supervisor goes, no, no, I'm talking to my workers. This time, I think the damage is done. The lady doesn't say anything. And you, you don't do that. You don't poke people with your cane. But, but that's the old man story. And, and there's, again, this is just the crazy people I see at the post office. And I, I sympathize with the workers who have to deal with them. So let's, let's get to the workers. And again, I know it's not all the workers. Again, I applaud what you guys have to deal with. I work in the customer service field myself. Have you guys related to the fact that when you, when you get a package and then they say, oh, we tried to deliver, but yet there's no slip in your mailbox? How many people does that happen to? I think that quite happens all too often where you get a notice saying we attempted to deliver from like, let's say from Amazon and like they tried to deliver today. You're waiting there all day for your package to be delivered by the way. And you get no slip until like maybe two days later. So you go to the post office. And so now you wait in line with a bunch of angry people. I'm talking about this line is probably going by, in some cases, outside the door. I don't understand why. Now, I'm gonna give it up to the lady at the post office where I'm at. She'll take people, multiple people, and she goes, she goes, she gets you in and out the door because she knows your package. But have you had that person that they see it's one really long line, no one comes to help them, but they decide that I'm gonna do this slip by slip. They collect the slip, and all of a sudden they disappear 30 to like an hour later with, and bring back the person's package or tell them like, I don't have it. I feel like, you know, you disappeared for such a long time. Where are you gonna find this package at? Narnia or something like that? I, I don't know. And again, asking for a supervisor to come speak with you at some of these postal locations, not all of them. Again, I applaud those who do their job. They work day in, day out. But asking for a supervisor, it's like asking to see a mythical creature. <laughs> We'll leave it at that. But yeah, these are some of the horror stories I've had at the post office. I actually have plenty more because I have been the one to go and pick up and all that. And it's just quite like, oh my God, like, you know, how do some of these people get these jobs? Can I get a job? Can I get a job? Can I get a job? But again, how do some of people get these jobs? But anyway, again, I applaud those that do their job day in, day out, you know, help the public and all that. Let me know what your guys' horror story has been at the post office. Leave a comment below, share, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. Peace, deuces, I'm out.